Hello guys, it's that random dude, and today I'll be showing you guys how to sub and install the Play PS2 emulator. So, this emulator right here, Play, is very work in progress. Not a lot of games will work, run well on it, but considering it's a PS2 emulator on Android, you can't really expect too much. Um, but in order to get this up, guys, um, oh, before we start, guys, actually, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more content coming to that random dude. And with that said, guys, thank you, and let's get on with the video. So you want to go to the Google Play Store, and you want to type in Play, just like that. And of course, there's all this random stuff, but you want to look at this one, Play, with the exclamation mark. And it's created by virtual applications. Now, something cool that just got added like a couple of days ago was um, version 0.45. It adds support for Vulkan. If you don't know what that is, it's sort of like OpenGL or Direct 3D if you're into Windows. It's sort of like that. It's sort of like a back end, I guess. I'm not really, not really that into it. I'm not really, don't really know too, like, don't really know that. Don't, not, don't really know that well, but yeah. So, of course, it is in experimental stages, so it's not 100% perfect. I'd say for the minute, just stick with the OpenGL backend thing. But you just want to install that, guys. And once it's installed, you want to go to your ROMs folder. So I've got a bunch of random games here. Um, but yeah, so you want to put your games into. You can actually go into a folder, and you can like. Pick out whatever folder you want. So, if you have a PS2 folder, locate it in your phone's file browser and it'll work. So, yeah, your games can be ISO files, CUE files with a bin file, um, compressed files, ISZ, a lot of things. Um, you got your homebrew section, but all unsorted. I'll just stick with unsorted. And you have your settings here. So, these are my settings. Now for the resolution factor, I would just say put this at one times. Unless you have a rocket ship of a phone, put it at eight times, but I'm just gonna put it at one times. You got some extra options here like presentation mode, basically the screen ratio, um, resize output to widescreen, enable audio output, show virtual pad. Now the virtual pad, um, I'll show you guys that later on. The virtual pad on this emulator is not really that good, so I'll just stick with an external controller. And you got your UI settings, um, you got your themes here, so I can change it to like amber or you know, I'm just to dark purple, I guess. And yeah, you got some other little things there. So I'm going to test out Marvel vs. Capcom 2, just so you guys can see. Oh, wait, let me just turn down my volume because it's going to be very loud. Um, now this is a game that runs sort of well on here, it runs better than a lot of the games I've tried, but, yeah. So of course depending on the phone you have, obviously you know, frame rate varies, but, on the baseline, a lot of games aren't going to run too well, in a minute, but, this game runs sort of fine. So if you guys can look through it, you know. But um yeah, so of course it doesn't run 100 percent but for, for this game on the plane later it runs fine. So as you see the virtual pad you can't customize it at all. At least for right now. And it lags a lot, like I'm pretty sure you even if you have like a strong snapdragon phone. It's still gonna run quite poorly, anyway. but um, yeah. But a good thing about this emulator is that it gets updated monthly, so you guys can expect this emulator to be updated quite often. So yeah. This game runs better than a lot of the games I've tried on here. So yeah, although really it's kind of pointless because you can just play Marvel vs. Capcom to rejoin. Like I've showed off in um, some of my other videos, but um, yeah, but everything works here. It's just yeah, not the best. 
So yeah, you got your. You can even use save states, load states. I think you'll use one, but yeah. So that's the play emulator. Um, also, you guys don't need a BIOS, unlike PCSX2 on PC. You just boot up the game, you just boot up the emulator, and your games will work. So, will I recommend using the play emulator right now? No, like I'd say give it a few more months and the emulator will be a lot better but for, but I think for right now de development is sort of um, slow but steady so yeah but um, if you guys found that video helpful please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video so see y'all later.